Tropical Storm Ada does still pose a threat to the Gulf Coast, but exactly where that's going to be is still a question. Ada right now is looking very disorganized, even though it's over those warm waters. And that's because not only is the water warm, but there's a lot of dry air. And that dry air is making it very difficult for the storm to develop. That tropical storm symbol has reached northern Alabama. And this long line of severe thunderstorms is just to the east of Okaloosa County, which means that we will be completely done with Zeta before sunrise. And what's helping with that is this cold front that's actually trailing behind the hurricane, and that's going to assist with clearing us out. If you're anywhere between these major roads of Highway 78, Interstate 26, and Highway 176 towards Monk's Corner, start taking action now. Put shoes on in case you're walking through debris. Put helmets on because, once again, based off this reflectivity, this is a radar-indicated tornado. Grab some hot chocolate, grab some coffee, some tea, whatever you like to drink to keep you warm because we're finally feeling some cool weather here in Mobile. We're starting to experience stronger and stronger wind gusts, bringing some power outages and trees down throughout local neighborhoods. 24 miles per hour in Mobile, 22 in Daphne, 21 in Pensacola. But look at that over in Biloxi, 43 mile per hour winds right now. And that's what we're talking about when we say that Mississippi is definitely having the brunt of this storm. And by the way, if you can find a waterfall in Mobile, let me know because this guy looks like he's having a great time out there. Orange Beach City officials told me that the damage from Hurricane Sally at Sportsman's Marina was absolutely devastating and that's due to the combination of the strong winds and the storm surge. It will also bring 10 to 20 inches of rain with up to 30 inches possible in some areas. Snuggle up with your pets, bring them inside. You do not want to leave any pets outside. They get just as cold as we do and also protect those plants and pipes. They aren't used to this cold weather either. This is just crazy looking, honestly. There's models showing anywhere from Louisiana all the way to eastern Florida. So we're definitely going to have to keep you updated when we get closer to the time of landfall. But as of now, we're still very unsure. But what we are sure of is that we're having nice weather here in town. Good evening. I hope you're all having a great Monday. I'm meteorologist Jenna Petrassi with your Atmos Center forecast. Right now at USA's campus, 56 degrees. It's feeling pretty chilly. Sun is still shining though, but the sun will be setting in just a few minutes. Right now for our weather headlines, we're going to be talking about no rain in the area. Yes, we're done with the hurricane, done with all the cold fronts. It's just clear and dry. Seasonal temperatures as well, but we do still have some tropical activity, and that's a little bit further south of us and I'll give you an update on that later on. But right now with the radar, nothing happening all day long, dry as can be, and that's because we're in this area of high pressure. And as soon as that one moves out, more high pressure is moving in. So we can expect clear conditions all week long with just a slight northerly breeze, bringing wind speeds of five miles per hour in Daphne, seven in Mobile, five in Pascagoula, and six up in Jackson. Around the area right now, temperatures are all in the upper 50s to low 60s, 60 in in Milton, 58 in Atmore, 57 in Daphne, and 62 over in Loosedale. All around the southeast, it's feeling like fall. We finally have some cool air coming in. Even in Florida, 60 degrees right now, 58 in Panama City Beach. And look up there in Atlanta, 51, 51 in Birmingham, 46 in Starkville. So yes, we do have some northern air moving in, and that's going to cool our forecast lows down to the 30s in parts of our upper viewing counties, such as Atmore, 37, 36 in Jackson, 38 in Evergreen, here in Mobile, 41 tonight, 46 in Gulf Shores, and 49 in Pensacola. So this is definitely grab some hot chocolate, grab some coffee, some tea, whatever you like to drink to keep you warm because we're finally feeling some cool weather 48 by 10 p.m. tonight once again zero percent chance of rain all night long in clear skies but now back to the serious stuff let's take a look at hurricane ada this is some very impressive visible imagery we can see that closed eye down near Nicaragua and it's moving towards the coast very quickly and it's going to be making landfall tonight or early tomorrow morning. This is a category four hurricane. We can see wind speeds are, are, are at 130 miles per hour. It's going to be moving into Nicaragua, making hurricane warnings last for Nicaragua and Honduras. 
over the next day. But then it will be weakening to a low pressure. But then look at this. As it moves back into the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to reform as a depression. And now this is what's the question, is what's going to happen after it enters those warm Gulf waters? It is still hurricane season, so there is a possibility that the storm can make its way closer to our neighborhood. But it's still too early to tell, but we are going to keep you updated on this one. For the next few days in our area, 0% chance of rain all week long. Temperature is warming back up to the mid-70s, and those overnight lows will be warming back up to the upper 60s as well. But yes, beautiful sunshine all week long. Enjoy the week and have a great day.